Making the best cake in the world. <laughs> hey, do you like cake? Yes. <laughs> and so you think an elephant is stronger than me? Yeah. Wrong, Tino. I am the strongest animal in the forest. Uh, I don't know, Gronio. I'm telling oh, you. Hey, <laughs> Gronio, Tino, just wait till you taste this cake. My banana cake is the very best cake in the world. Uh, That's because I am the best baker uh, in the world. Uh, <laughs> Bubbo, I'm a much better baker than you. Huh? My peanut cake is absolutely legendary. Right, Tino? Uh, Bobo? Yes? I think you need an egg to put in your cake. Uh, uh. <laughs> and what do you know about baking, uh, huh? Well, um, my grandma Bobo, told I'm her. a much better baker than you, and I am going to prove it. Come on, Tino. But, Gronio, I think he needs an egg. Tino? Uh. Oh. Can you believe that? Tino trying to tell me how to make a cake? <laughs> what does he know about cakes? <laughs> <laughs> and now for the finishing touch, the peanuts. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on Bobo's face when he tastes my cake and finally sees that it is the best. <laughs> Uh, Gronio, yes? I think maybe you should add some sugar to your cake. Huh? Yeah. I need you to Tino? Huh? What do you know about making cakes? Huh? Well, my grandma said Tino, that. Tino, if you are not going to help me, just stay out of my way, please. Uh. Go on, go on. I am the best baker, the very best baker. I'm the best baker in the entire world. Tra la la. Tra la la. Okay, here it is, the moment of truth. The moment where Gronio finds out that I am actually the best baker in the world. Just wait till they taste my ultrasonic blasting banana cake. So you think you just wait till they taste my super duper popping perfect peanut cake. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, in that case, uh, my Gronio? cake is the very best. Bobo? Yes? What if we just eat the cake? Ah, all right. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> Yes, I think Locale is right. Bobo, it seems your cake could use an egg. Or, um, even two. It's a little... dry. And Gronio, I think a little sugar would really improve your cake. Tino? What? What is that? Oh, well, everyone was making cakes, so I wanted to make a cake, too. I just hope you like it. Wow. Mm. Huh? Mm. Wow, Tino. <laughs> this is the best cake that I have ever tasted. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> wow. This, this, this is the best cake in the whole wide world. Uh, impossible. Tino. Where did you learn how to bake such good cakes? Well, that's what I was trying to tell you. My grandma loves to bake cakes, and so she taught me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tino, yes? uh, do you think that maybe you could teach me how to bake a cake like this one too, huh? Tino, huh? why didn't you tell us that you could make the best cake in the world, huh? huh? I don't know. Sometimes it's just better to do what you are good at rather than to talk about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, hey, listen, everyone. Uh -huh. Locale says it's time for a song. Yeah! Let's go. Let's go. I'm learning and growing, but there's more I could be knowing. Maybe there's a way that 
I can learn from you. I do some things well, and you do too. Look this way, everything is about me. Ay, 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 you, you should learn humility. humility. The best in the world is me, as you see. Ay, 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 you, you should, should learn humility. humility. Here's something I know to do. Can I help you to learn how to? I can help you learn how it's done. Doing it together makes it much more fun. Look this way, everything is about me. Ay, 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 you, you should, should learn, learn humility. humility. Looking for a star, I'm here as you see. Ay, 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 ay you, you should, should learn humility. humility. Wait, uh, yeah, uh, Tino? Yes? Listen, um, I just wanted to say that, well, you are a much better baker than me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> me too, huh? Uh, I'm just so glad that you all liked my cake. <laughs> <laughs> hey! It's time to go see Mama Zungu. Hey! Let's go! <laughs> Mama Zungu! Humility. Humility! Humility means being humble and learning from others each day. Do your best without making a show in your work or in your play. Hey, Tino, you were humble. You did your best without making a big show. And me? Uh, not so humble, Tonyo. And neither was I. No. Come with me now. Jump into my pot. We'll go on a journey and learn a lot. This is Bikoko. He is very good at gymnastics. Everybody says he is the best gymnast in the neighborhood. But Bikoko isn't interested in what everybody says. He just wants to get better. So he practices a lot. Bikoko likes to help the younger boys learn how to do gymnastics too. With Bikoko's help, they also become very good at gymnastics. And Bikoko is always the first one to praise their efforts. Wow! Bikoko was great at doing flips, huh? Yeah, and he was humble, too. Yeah. Hey, Dino. Yes? If we practice, I bet we can learn how to do flips, too. Oh, I don't know, Gronio. I think I'd rather practice baking cakes. Come on, Tino. Oh, Get down no. here. Come on. No, Gronio. Ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Tino. Oh, I did a flip, yep. But I think I'd rather practice baking cakes. Tino. Uh, coming. Huh. Hey, Kippy. Yeah? You hear that? It's time for a story with Papa Sete. Yay, Papa Sete! Hey, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> hello, Papa Sete! Hello, Papa Sete! Oh, hello, my little friends. It is so good to see you today. Papa Zete, you know what? Mm -hmm. I think you are the very best storyteller in the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I think that you are just very good listeners. I do love telling you stories. And today, huh? I have a wonderful story for you about a humble king. Wow. Would you like to hear it? Oh, yes. Yes, please, Papa Zete. Oh, please. Well, climb on up here now and make yourselves comfortable. Once upon a time, there was a kind and humble king named Musoke. One day, his servant said, Oh, noble king, while at the market, I heard that the baker is sick, so there is no bread for sale. Immediately, the kind king called for the court doctor. Please go and see the baker, for he is very sick. But don't tell anyone who sent you. Off the doctor went. Who sent you to bring me medicine? The baker asked. Just a humble man, replied the doctor. And very soon, the baker was better. The next day, the king had some guests, so he called for his jester to come and entertain. But the jester looked so sad that he couldn't make the guests laugh. What is wrong, dear Jester? asked the king. My mother is far, far away. I miss her terribly. So the king called his boatman and quietly asked him to fetch the Jester's mother. But don't tell anyone who sent you. So off the boatman went and brought the Jester's mother. Who sent you to bring my mother? the Jester asked. Just a humble man, 
replied the boatman. The next day, the king said, Some flowers for my table, please. But the servant told him that the florist shop had burned down. So the king called his builder and quietly asked him to go and rebuild the florist's shop. But don't tell anyone who sent you. Off the builder went, and soon the florist was selling his beautiful bouquets of flowers. Who sent you to rebuild my shop? The florist asked. Just a humble man, replied the builder. The next day, news spread that the king was very sick. The doctor came running with some medicine. The baker baked his very best bread for the king. The jester came and sang and danced to make the king feel better. The florist brought flowers to brighten his day. The builder built a pagoda. The boatman caught a huge fish and the jester's mother cooked it up. The whole kingdom came and prayed a prayer for just a humble man. And very soon, the king got better and there was great rejoicing in the kingdom. Wow! wow. Papa Zete? Yes? That king was very humble. He didn't tell anyone that he was the one helping. Mm -hmm. You are right. Even though he was a great king, he didn't think he was greater than anyone else. And that is why everyone loved him. Uh -huh. Oh, that was a wonderful story. Thank you so much, Papa Zete. You are welcome, my little keepy. Yes, thanks for the story, Papa Zete. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye, my little friends. Bye. <laughs> Bobo, yes. what are you doing? I was just thinking about how great the Earth is. Uh, what do you mean? Well, look, it gives life to everything. All the plants, everything we eat, even old Papa Zete needs the Earth to grow in. That's true. But Keepy, look, even though it is like the greatest thing in the world, it also lets us walk on it. I think that the Earth is really humble. Wow, Bobo. I never thought of it like that before. I think you are right. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Oh, goodbye, goodbye everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Hmm. Hey, everyone from around the world. It's Bobo and Keepy. Our home base is a magical place. It's Bobo and Keepy. We're going to have some fun. Fun for everyone. Wherever you're from, it's plain to see. It's Bobo and Keepy. We're all one big